Russia is building drone bases near Northern Sea Route against US. The Northern Sea Route and the coast of Kamchatka will be covered with strike and reconnaissance forces drones long flight duration. The corresponding decision has already been made, a source in the Ministry of Defense of Russia reports. The military department has decided to cover the Northern Sea Route with drones of the Pacer and Forepost family, capable of staying in the air for a long time, conducting reconnaissance and also, if necessary, attacking. The main task drones will consist of monitoring sea and airspace in the Northern Sea Route area, searching for possible violators and participating in search and rescue operations. To deploy drones, a network of base sites with all the necessary infrastructure will be created both on the Kamchatka Peninsula and along the Northern Sea Route. It is not yet known at what stage the project is at. Continuous monitoring is advisable in these areas. We must have all the information on the presence of foreign ships and warships in our economic zone in the Arctic and especially those passing along the Northern Sea Route without our permission and notification. The same applies to Kamchatka, Anadia and adjacent seas. Lead news media outlet words of the former commander of the Pacific Fleet, Admiral Sergei Avakyants. The deployment of the system of Russian bases for reconnaissance and strike, unmanned aerial vehicles, PESA and Forpost, in Kamchatka and along the Northern Sea Route is the response to actions of the US and their allies in the Arctic, Program Director of the Academy of Political Sciences Alexander Stepanov told TASS. The decision of the Russian Defense Ministry to deploy a network of bases for reconnaissance and strike UAVs, including the integration of Pacer and Forepost family drones, will make it possible to reach parity with the enemy and offsets threats projected by the Pentagon to Russian military and civilian infrastructure in the Arctic. The expert said, the US and their NATO allies are proactively filling the region with the military infrastructure, focusing on F-35 fighter jets and various types of marine and air autonomous systems, Stepanov added. Biden administration frustrated by delay in aid to Ukraine but has no plan B. The administration of US President Joe Biden is becoming increasingly frustrated with delays in funding for Ukraine's fight against Russia. There is growing concern in the United States that Russian troops could make significant gains in the coming weeks, according to Bloomberg. According to anonymous American officials, there is no plan B for the US regarding aid to Ukraine apart from the $60 billion military assistance currently under consideration in Congress. One source emphasized that European leaders need to overcome delays and use profits from blocked Russian assets to aid Ukraine. At the same time, another source noted that European countries should also urgently respond to Ukraine's request to provide the country with more Patriot air defense systems from their stockpiles. The US president is trying to convince Congress to pass military aid for Ukraine, dissuade Iran from launching strikes against Israel and press Israel into letting more aid into Gaza. US aid to Ukraine has stalled, allowing Russia to extend the conflict. The Biden administration has decided that it is time to share what it knows about China's significantly increased support for Russia in its war with Ukraine, including through declassifying intelligence, even as a Republican minority in Congress continues to delay weapons delivery to Kyiv. A senior administration official speaking on condition of anonymity outlined, for me, the concerning scale of Beijing's growing support for Moscow's war effort. China is dangerous, the official said, and the administration is determined to show allies evidence of Beijing's growing role in Russia's threats to European security. The official said 90% of the reason Russia has been able to sustain the war effort and reconstitute its economy despite sanctions is due to a massive effort by China that ranges from geospatial assistance for Russian targeting to dual-use optics and propellants used in everything from tanks to missiles. Cool